Gemini. Welcome to Highlight Cosmic Tarot. This is your reading for September the 15th. This is the 30th of this month, which is today. I'm so sorry that this is coming out super late. Um, I've been doing a million things um, and I didn't want to, you know, leave you guys out. Um, I'm doing a different spread today, different procedure. So I've done, I've put out all the cards and I've attuned to your energy and I'm going to go on with the pre-meditation and I'm going to go, and at first I'm going to go on with the prayer. So thank you Holy Spirit for the collective of Gemini. Thank you for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Thank you for always supporting us on our path. Thank you for always assisting us on this journey. Thank you forever and always. Amen. Okay. Um, I have a new setup today. I was going to do it in my car, but I was like, no, I'll just do it here. This is my son's workstation for his distance learning. Um, so I decided to utilize it. Um, okay, so for your premeditation, I got that either you are anxious or your person or someone in and around you is very anxious. Um, I got that maybe your throat shock chakra is either blocked or in an imbalance. I got, um, there's something about a decision that needs to be made. Um, I feel like it's a critical decision. Um, and I feel like it's going to take more than one attempt to be successful. That's what I got from the premeditative session. Um, and then I'll get into the read. So, yeah. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my child. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, I feel like in the past, um, you kind of went into your own little bubble about a relationship that you could have possibly been in. I feel like this relationship um, kind of ended, I'm seeing like the Five of Pentacles, like somebody was put out in the cold. Somebody was, um, and I dare say, ghosted or some kind of, um, somebody didn't get an explanation or closure, I'm feeling. Um, and, but I, uh, but I feel like you were left to your own devices to give your self closure here with the hermit. I clarified the hermit and, um, I got, I put it back in the deck, but I got a sense of, um, that when you were in this mode, you were just healing. Um, you know, I think, yeah, it was the five of cups in reverse meaning that you've accepted the loss and you have moved on. Um, but you know that in the Five of Cups, there's always two. Um, behind the individual, there are two cups still standing, if you're familiar with tarot. Um, so I feel like, on the other hand, you still have the residual energy um, of this person. We have the Judgment card here. So I, I feel like on one token, someone turned their back and um, was accepting of the energy of the relationship being at a total loss um, and just completely accepting it. I feel like either someone is thinking this if someone um, wants this or someone is going to try to come in with an offer. Um... I'm seeing we have the Queen of Cups right next to it, so this could be a can Cancerian um, that is feeling the need to come in to um, a reconciliation or wanting to make a judgment call on whatever happened in the previous connection. Yeah, I just, I feel like um, this person wants to kind of put, I'm getting, like, put the, all of what happened in the relationship under their feet, because I'm looking at her feet here, and I'm definitely getting the notion that um, putting the past behind you, I'm hearing, as you can see in this card, there's dry desert here. And wanting to put that in the past and wanting to keep it there. Um, wanting to settle all um, injustices and 
wanting to make things right. This to me is wanting to make things right. I see here, this almost look like, looks like a medic symbol. So I feel like this Queen of Cups individual is coming in to make things right. Um, also kind of like trying to go in and see if anything could be salvageable. Um, yeah. Let's see. I feel like this is the person. Um, this is an air sign, so this could be you, Gemini, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, any air sign, but in particular you, this could be you. I feel like, um, you, <laughs> you are not budging <laughs> on the scene. If this person is coming towards you, you're very stoic, you're very calculated, and you're watching them. You're watching this Queen of Cups. Um, you're kind of watching their moves. Like you're not taking your focus off of what they're up to. Um, I instinctively, they're they're even, or you're even, you know, saying, "What is this person doing? What is this person up to? If this person has reached out and or um, communicated anything in this, I'm I'm not sure if this person has." But I feel like um, you could be be on the be on the lookout for what is um, transpiring, or this could have been in the past. So yeah, this is you, and I feel like you're watching this person. I feel like you're not moving. I feel like you're just watching this person. Your person, on the other hand. Um, could be being in a private energy, being in a, um, secluded energy, um, trying to figure out their next steps, trying to gain a new perspective on the situation, trying to see if they can bring about this, um, kind of resurrection of a relationship with you. I feel like, um, yeah, so you have to believe your person is trying to think about ways in which, um, this relationship could be, um, kind of be resurrected because you can see that there's two people on this card. Instinctively, these are the two people. So, definitely, um, this Queen of Cups is trying to, like I said, she's trying to resurrect this potential relationship with this person. The Queen of Cups, um, you could be dealing with a Cancerian, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or this person has this placement in their chart. Um, yeah. I feel like... I feel like this... The Cancerian person has... Given an olive leaf or olive branch... To this King of Swords figure... But instinctively, I think that the offer is either rejected or put on um, like a delay. There's a delay on the start of this. I feel like um, this Queen of Cups is thinking about the offer. Um, that she just made and I don't know if it was accepted or yep this um, 
King of Swords. I think it's you. I feel like you. Because you have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So at this time, this King of Swords, I'm feeling like it's you. Is not willing to work on this connection. Because um, you could still be in your head about this connection. And about um, what didn't work. And just fearful that, you know this person can hurt you again that this connection can blow up again and just be really bad and I feel like this king of swords which I feel like is you is um um kind of settling in the notion of not working on this at this time I say this time because the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. So, and the crazy thing about it is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse in this deck. And the last card that came out with the Radiant Wise is the Ace of Pentacles upright. So I feel like this person is not willing to 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 take a stab at this relationship again like I said I feel like this pers person is watching I feel like you're watching you're kind of in your head about the situation. And you're not making any sudden moves just yet. Um, you're trying to get clear on what you want. And move past all of the hurts and the pain and the fear that you have about going forward in a connection. Um, I need to clarify something. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like it's it's you, but I feel like this is you. You're in your head about this connection, and I feel like you're deciding to work on yourself, deciding to nurture yourself, and or get just get your corn coin. Oh my gosh, a ton fell out. Yeah, you have the Ace of Cups again in the reverse. So yeah, this is you. Yep. Yeah. So I feel like... Um, you have to definitely recover from this relationship before you can even make any decisions. Um, just letting go and healing within yourself, nurturing yourself before you can start anything new. This also could be about your partner. The Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. What is the outcome for the Queen of Cups? I feel like this Queen of Cups figure. I feel like she makes a call. And is waiting on you to respond. But I feel like you don't respond. Seven of Pentacles in the Radiant Wise or Rider Weight deck. The Seven of Pentacles is, you know, somebody's waiting and looking back over their investment. So yeah, I feel like this Queen of Cups could be waiting for your answer or waiting for 
you to make the call. But I honestly, I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're moving on. I feel like you're moving on. Feel like you're moving on. Feel like you're definitely working on your your money, and I feel like you're moving on. Something, I just, I just got the Ace of Wands in reverse. Something keeps pulling you back to this connection. This was the outcome that I got for you. This is the outcome and under the deck was this from the outcome. So I feel like. You two need a lot of healing, a lot of time apart, a lot of balance for the situation for the situation to be justified. We have justice under this deck. Because I'm getting the notion that you two are both trying to sort out feelings, more so you than anything. You're definitely focused on your money. Yeah. Yeah, you two are waiting. And I have an advice card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Sun, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can I have an advice card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Can I have an advice card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting another message. I feel like you're in your head about this connection. And then you just focus on money. That takes your mind off of it. I feel like when you see this connection, you just see the tower. Like, you feel like it's always going to fall. Something's always going to hit the fan. So I feel like you just... You just say... I can't, I, you don't even want to look that way, honestly. You don't even want to look in the direction of the person because you feel like whenever you engage in this connection, there's a blow up. And just pull this warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Can I get one more? One more card for Gemini. Sun, Moon. Ooh, they gave me a lot. I don't want the whole deck. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This, I'm sorry, I'm going back. This could be the anxiety that I was talking about. The anxiousness and needing to be grounded and meditate. And I kept getting the throat chakra a lot. And there's a lot of blue in these cards, guys. 
there's blue everywhere in this card. So somebody has to speak up about a situation. Somebody has to step forward. Same thing um, about a situation. Okay. They gave me two, so I'm just going to go with the two. You have drum, dream, and journey. Somebody else got this card. I don't remember what sign it was. Medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. Hmm. I feel like this is the queen of cups. I believe that this queen of cups came in. And when she came in, she could have came in with a loving message. Um, talking about the connection. Wanting to rebuild the connection. And I feel like whatever she's saying. Has the potential to open your heart. O be open to healing information. This is green. So this has to do with the heart chakra. So this, this queen of cups is trying to get your attention. And trying to appeal to your heart chakra. And Spirit is saying be open to healing information. This is you and you're not open to it. I'm pretty sure this person left you jaded and um, feeling, you know, not at ease. But Spirit is saying be open to the messages and or the communication this person it's, it's shown this person has gone within and they realize some things they realize some things about themselves in the, within the connection and why some of the connection has gone wrong and how they need to fix it so this person is coming in and p potentially telling you that and spirit is saying be open, open your heart to the information that can heal those wounds. Okay. Then we have dream, drum, dream and journey. So I feel like, I forget what sign I, I had this for. And I'm going to give the same message. Spirit is saying, dream your dream. What is your dream? What is your ideal relationship look like? journey down that path dream it up devise a plan you have 11 11 when you have stability if you have a house there's a plan that goes into building a house and there should be a plan that goes into a relationship you don't you shouldn't just go in all willy-nilly so dream and journey so devise that plan. What does that relationship look like? What do you look like within that connection? And come together and journey down that path so you can be successful. You have warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. I think this is for the both of you. And for you... Be fearless and stand strong. You're tapping into this bit of energy here. I feel like you both are, but I feel like this Queen of Cups have set her peace. And now you have received it. And now you are dealing with how to take it. So I feel like you're in your head. But Spirit is saying, be fearless, be strong, be open to the messages. To go back around and just tell you these are the last three cards here this is the absolute last one and this is you I'm gonna show you this is the last card in the spread you you see the red and the green this is you three of wands I feel like you are waiting for this person to change this queen of cups this is what you're doing you're waiting on that queen of cups to change because this figure has the same tones as the look at the back of her chair and then the 
This has a tint of blue in it. This you're waiting for this this Queen of Cups to change to do a full 360. So I do feel like this is coming back around. Um, just like I said in my meditation, um, this may take more than one attempt. It may take more than two attempts. But I feel like for right now, you guys are both in the self-recovery mode, self-healing mode. Um, this could have been a codependent relationship. So be mindful that um, this time is to be taken out to be, to, you know, stand in your healing Stand in your, um, balancing your chakras, um, standing in your power and standing strong and devising a plan. I keep hearing devising a plan. What kind of relationship do you want and what, how do you see yourself in that connection? And, um, yeah. So guys, again, I hope that this resonated and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.